An astrobiologist explains why invisible aliens could be among us. Life is pretty easy to recognize. It moves, it grows, it eats, it excretes, it reproduces. Simple. In biology, researchers often use the acronym MUGRIN to describe it. It stands for movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. But Helen Sharman, Britain's first astronaut and a chemist at Imperial College London, recently said that alien life forms that are impossible to spot may be living among us. How could that be possible? Early birds get all the good stuff. Like a great price on TNW 2020 tickets. Gimme. While life may be easy to recognize, it's actually notoriously difficult to define and has had scientists and philosophers in debate for centuries, if not millennia. For example, a 3D printer can reproduce itself, but we wouldn't call it alive. On the other hand, a mule is famously sterile, but we would never say it doesn't live. As nobody can agree, there are more than 100 definitions of what life is. An alternative, but imperfect, approach is describing life as a self-sustaining chemical system capable of Darwinian evolution, which works for many cases we want to describe. Read, aliens exist but we're not open-minded enough to see them. The lack of definition is a huge problem when it comes to searching for life in space. Not being able to define life other than we'll know it when we see it means we are truly limiting ourselves to geocentric, possibly even anthropocentric, ideas of what life looks like. When we think about aliens, we often picture a humanoid creature. But the intelligent life we are searching for doesn't have to be humanoid. Life, but not as we know it. Charman says she believes aliens exist and there's no two ways about it. Furthermore, she wonders, will they be like you and me, made up of carbon and nitrogen? Maybe not. It's possible they're here right now and we simply can't see them. Such life would exist in a shadow biosphere. By that, I don't mean a ghost realm, but undiscovered creatures probably with a different biochemistry. This means we can't study or even notice them because they are outside of our comprehension. Assuming it exists, such a shadow biosphere would probably be microscopic. So why haven't we found it? We have limited ways of studying the microscope. For more on this story, visit the news article link.